Here at Learning English Pro, we want you to learn everyday English every day. That's why we decided to make you a video on fabrics. We will bring you lots of words related to fabrics, like nouns, verbs and adjectives, and how to use them in a sentence. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell to get an instant notification direct to your inbox every time we post an amazing new English video. The first fabric we will look at is cotton, a natural fibre. Cotton. Repeat after me. Cotton. As a natural fibre, cotton is grown on farms. When it is collected, we would say it is harvested. Our verb definition is to gather or collect a crop which is ready for use. This verb can be used in relation to food farming as well. Let's have a look at this word in action with the verb example. The farmer will harvest the cotton soon. This is the future tense version of the regular verb harvest. A common item of clothing used with cotton is the t-shirt. Repeat after me. T-shirt. Let's use some of these words in a longer sentence. John likes to wear a cotton t-shirt when he runs. The next fabric we will look at is also a natural fibre. Wool. Repeat after me. Wool. And of course, wool comes from sheep. Repeat after me. Sheep. Sheep is an interesting word as this word acts as both a singular and the plural form for the animal. Wool is used in a popular activity called knitting. Repeat after me, knitting. This is the noun version, so the noun definition is the craft or action of knitting. But like lots of English words, there is also a verb definition to this word. It means the action to make a garment or blanket by interlocking loops of wool or other yarn with knitting needles or on a machine. An example in conversation is, she knits every weekend to relax. Next up, we have a fabric made of wool, tweed. Repeat after me, tweed. This fabric originates from Scotland and Ireland and a verb commonly associated with it is to weave. And like knitting, it means to make a garment or blanket by interlocking loops of wool or other yarn with knitting needles or on a machine. Weave is also an irregular verb. A past form of weave is wove. Let's look at an example in the past simple tense. Fiona wove the blanket last Wednesday. Fiona wove the blanket last Wednesday. In the past participle, we use woven. Repeat after me, woven. An example of the past participle is, tweed is a tightly woven fabric. Tweed is a tightly woven fabric. Our next fabric is hessian. Repeat after me, hessian. This is British English. In American English, this fabric is referred to as burlap. Repeat after me, Burlap. This is quite a cheap fabric, but our next fabric is more expensive. Leather. Repeat after me. Leather. Leather comes from the skin of animals, like cows. We call the skin of animals hide. The noun definition of hide is the skin of an animal, especially when tanned or dressed for leather production. Hide has lots more definitions, including a popular verb form, which is unrelated, so make sure to check your dictionary for lots more. We also have an imitation form of leather called pleather. Repeat after me. Pleather. Pleather is a portmanteau, which is a word blending the sounds and combining the meanings of two others. We have the material, polyurethane, and leather, which becomes pleather. Can you think of any other portmanteaus? We're back to a natural material, for our next fabric, which is silk. Repeat after me. Silk. Silk is a popular material and also has an adjectival form. Silky. The definition is it describes something that has characteristics similar to silk. Synonyms of silky are smooth, soft, 
sleek, glossy, and fine. For our next fabric, we have linen. Repeat after me, linen. Linen has become a popular material to use in suits. This is a suit. Suit. Suits are common at formal occasions or in work. Linen also has an additional definition. The word can be used to describe fabric household goods intended for daily use, such as bedding, tablecloths, and towels. Our next material or fabric is intricate. Lace. Repeat after me. Lace. Lace is a common fabric used in women's lingerie. Lingerie. On the screen, we can see it in combination with silk, another common fabric in lingerie. Our next material is very common. Polyester. Repeat after me. Polyester. Polyester is synthetic, but what does this word mean? It is an adjective, and it means that something is made by chemical synthesis, especially to intimidate a natural product. So if something is synthetic, it is considered to be not naturally produced. Up next we have chiffon. Repeat after me. Chiffon. Chiffon is a very light material, and you could describe it as translucent. This adjective means of a substance, like fabric, which allows light, but not detailed shapes, to pass through. Something which is semi-transparent. Can you think of any other materials which are translucent? Our next material is very different. Chintz. Repeat after me. Chintz. Chintz is a material commonly used around the home. Here we can see an image of curtains, which are made from the heavily floral pattern. Curtains. For our final fabric in this video, we have the very popular denim. Repeat after me, denim. And denim is of course most popularly used in jeans. Repeat after me, jeans. How many pairs of jeans do you own? Jeans come in different styles as well. This style is called a straight cut pair of jeans. But there are many others. Up next we have skinny jeans. Repeat after me. Skinny. This means that they are tight. When I was a teenager, I really loved my boot cut jeans. Repeat after me. Boot cut. These are wider at the bottom, but if you want something even wider at the bottom, you could try flared jeans. Flared jeans. And these are commonly associated with the 60s and the 70s. What's your favourite style of jeans? Let us know in the comments below. Can you believe that's the end of our video? Thank you so much for watching, we really appreciate it. If you have anything to say about our video, please leave a comment below. We hope you find this video useful. If you have any friends learning English, why not share this video with them and talk about it? We would really appreciate if you could like this video. And we want to hear from you. If you have any suggestions for a future video, let us know. There are lots of different ways to follow us. Right here on YouTube or Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. We post content every day. That's all for now. Keep learning English like a pro.